We have had the opportunities over the last uh, 10 years to collect a lot of data on the effect of uh, levodopa, carbidopa, intestinal gel uh, in Parkinson patients. Uh, typically, uh, this uh, infusion system uh, is administered to people uh, who have uh, uh, severe motor complications. But if you uh, uh, implement this uh, a bit earlier uh, to people who have motor complications but have not reached the very end stage of the disease, you might see a significant improvement uh, uh, in uh, quality of life and in many non-motor symptoms which are related uh, to the uh, what we call off periods or reduced efficacy uh, of levodopa during the day. In particular, in this uh, study, we looked at a cohort of patients uh, prospectively uh, at several institutions uh, in Italy. This uh, was part of a larger study uh, uh, globally, uh, and uh, this subset of people uh, in Italy were enrolled uh, and, uh, at several hospital and academic institutions uh, in the country, uh, so with a relatively good uh, geographical distribution. We found uh, that the uh, patients who were receiving the, yes, the uh, interjunal uh, lipodopa gel uh, showed an improvement uh, in terms of a, a reduction of about three, four hours of off time, extension of the good mobility time of on time, and also uh, non motor symptom, total non motor symptom severity declined with particular uh, reference to symptoms that are responsive to levodopa optimization, like depression, anxiety, and pain. Also, in some cases, nighttime sleep improved, uh, which uh, might occur uh, as a consequence of a better mobility during the day. So overall, these results uh, show that the intradigital levodopa gel infusion is an effective therapy uh, for people with moderate uh, Parkinson presenting uh, fluctuations in their mobility during the day and in some cases uh, with dyskinesias.